At the New Balance Sports Lab in Lawrence, Massachusetts, engineers are working on the next generation of running shoes to be made in America. Utilizing the latest in motion sensor technology, a runner is monitored by eight high-speed cameras, taking 200 pictures a second. This information is then rendered into 3D animations for the engineers to analyze. We can utilize this information to calculate exactly the joint angles and segment motion we're looking to investigate. This approach allows the team to design a product that will better respond to a runner's needs. Our goal is to allow athletes to perform as best they can any given day of the week. We're gonna make very small, minute changes that maybe the athlete doesn't even realize that's gonna give them a second on an 800. A second is the difference between first and eighth. After a new shoe has been developed, it's sent to the Smash Lab. This machine's um, a servo hydraulic unit that can produce very large quantities of force and can do so in very short bursts of time. In just a few minutes, the mini bionics unit can inflict the wear and tear of a three-hour marathon run. So the mini bionics unit basically allows us to produce anywhere from zero to 5,000 pounds of force. In this case, you're seeing the shoe being impacted 10 times per second. But when we're evaluating this type of product, we want to make sure that it's going through the uh, its utmost durability, making sure that nothing's going to break down over time or crack over time. So essentially, this is a, a pretty extreme test, but a, a pretty important test for our customers. The Smash Lab isn't necessarily the toughest exercise the New Balance brand will endure. For over two decades, New Balance has provided athletic footwear for every branch of the armed forces. Each pair is specialized with the Air Force, Army, Coast Guard, Navy, and Marine Corps emblems for the servicemen and women of the United States military. People should care about the fact that New Balance is making shoes domestically because it's unique, because so much we believe is not being done domestically anymore. In the late 70s and early 80s when video games came out, people became so creative they would go and drill holes through their quarters tie a little bit of fishing line in there, put it in till it hit the micro switch, pull it back out, get their quarter, get a free game.